Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. This reading is for Taurus. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus for the month of March 2019. For those of you who are still on the channel and didn't abandon me, <laughs> I do appreciate you still being here. I had some very tough times, but I'm still here, and obviously you are too, and I do appreciate it. So thank you. For those of you who are just finding the channel, welcome. And I hope you enjoy the readings. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus for the month of March 2019. What are the karmic energies for Taurus? And if there are challenges, how can they tra traverse them? What are the challenges for Taurus? What are the positive things coming in for Taurus for the month of March 2019? We have the Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups, and we have Major Arcana Death. Pull one of the karmic cards here. It's a bit complicated. Choosing something or going in a way that was very good, but it ended too quickly. It stopped too quickly, and now having a feeling like you wished it last, lasted longer or you made the wrong decision because it didn't necessarily go as positively as you anticipated towards. It's not really about regrets, it's more like wishes, wishing for something else. Mm, look at that. Again, this is a retreat. This feels like wishes because something is ending too quickly. This can also be about, like, I don't know, your kids growing up too quickly and you're looking around and looking if you, if you have children and thinking, oh, they're growing up too quickly. Or you're leaving school and you're feeling like, oh, this was so great. I don't want it to be over. It was so wonderful. You can also, it's, it's, it's like this. I wish this could last longer is what I'm getting towards. What do you want to last longer? I'm not sure. We have the five of swords. We have the ace of cups. And we have the two of wands. I'm going to go ahead and finish pull this out. We have the five of wands on top of the five of swords. We have the um, we have the page of pentacles, which is presenting like it is the Taurus. And we have Major Arcana, the Emperor. Getting back to work, getting down to work having to work harder, um, wishing that you could switch careers, switch jobs, switch it up, change it up. Um, but you know, you're on your way towards, you've made this, you've gone, you've, even if this isn't a decision that you've made recently, it could just be something that you decided to do with your life. Now the ball has been rolling and you've had your ups and your downs to this. You've seen both sides of your decision or the choices or the directions that you made in your life. You've seen all sides of it. You've experienced all sides of it, yeah. And the good parts, of course, that's how anybody is. They want the good things to last longer than the bad or they want to see more positive feedback or outcome from what they've done, the negative, that's a normal situation. But now the ball is rolling and you're in a situation where you have to uh, be centered and ride it out, especially with this here. You have to ride it out. So if you are in the phase of a storm, it's it doesn't feel like it's anything of a major impact that should have you wanting to turn back. If you're in the middle, like that's coming across, like if you're in the middle of a storm and you've already sailed out to wherever it is that you're going and then a storm comes up, but you still have your destination, storm and swell comes up and now you're getting all scared and you think, oh crap, should I turn back? You know, are we going to make it? Is this boat going to sink? Do we have time to turn back? Sometimes you get out so far, you don't, you can't turn back. You have to keep going. 
And you have to have faith and you have to believe this is the page, but he's the most successful, intelligent page in the deck, in my opinion, because typically he gets what he wants. He gets what he works for. He gets what he thought about. He brings it about by being patient, by being a realistic, by being mature. You know, you gotta, and it's a little battle. It's not even a big thing. You have to be strong with the emperor here and you have to ride out the storm. You have to ride it out. There's no turning back now, Taurus. And there's no need to turn back right now, by the way. There's no need to turn back. Now, we just had everything planned. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's just way too many. <laughs> just... But you don't need to turn back, guys. You just got to ride it out. And that might even be the people that you've chosen that you might be having second thoughts about or a job that you're on. You're like, oh, I need to I need to repeal and, and get, get out of that. We have the three of wands now on the same line. It's two of wands. Remember we were talking about those ships selling out and you can't turn back anymore. There's no need to turn back. You've already invested. You already made that investment and taken that route. Now you're on that road. You're on that route. We have the Major Arcana, the Empress, appearing with the Emperor, by the way. That's just, for me, more confirmation that things are headed in the right direction. We have the Five of Cups, even though you might be feeling like a type of regret, like you haven't done the right thing, you know. But look at that. There's a lot of, with the flowers growing out of the cup there, this is the, the, the Five of Cups. There's still something to be gained out of this, even though you might be ready to give up Taurus. Doesn't look like right now is the time to give up. Um, let me pull a few more of these because I'm trying to figure out what, why you're not convinced. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Nine of Cups. So Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. Somebody might be putting a lot of negativity or negative thoughts or downplaying or causing you to second guess with this Two of Swords here, causing you to second guess what you desire, what you wanted, or what you've done. We have a Queen of Swords here in the middle. I'm not saying that that can be someone from the sweep or the element of air, but it very well could be like a Libra or a Gemini or it feels like an Aquarius who's, who's putting this negative concept towards you that's making you second guess who you are, your capabilities, or your, even your function in life. It feels like it could be that deep, like judging you in a way to make you feel bad about yourself or about your decisions. But what do they say? Stay away from negative people because they have a problem for every solution. So someone who's shooting down your plans uh, and making you, yeah, or causing, nobody can make you feel anyway, causing you to, causing you to lose some confidence or to feel insecure when you really need someone who's maybe being a bit more supportive and and encouraging to you, but you have to do that for yourself. And with this Queen of Cups and Nine of Cups on the other side, this is somebody who be believes, you know, in what they're doing. There, there's all these halls here, which represent to me doors, you know, and yeah, all doors lead to the same place because what was gonna be is gonna be anyway, you know. What's meant for you will come for you, Taurus. Nobody can change that. Nobody can stop that, you know. Um, and that's why, again, there's this requirement just to be kind of believing in yourself and what you've done, not letting anybody uh, take that away from you, not allowing that, because only you can allow it. So let's see what the final advice is for Taurus. going to go ahead and read this. We have the page of fire here. That's just beautiful. I want to show you how lovely this card is. Look at this. Page 
catch a fire. Speaking of fire, looks like I need to poke it a little bit, even though it's drying my, out my throat and every parts of my body. We had a bad snowstorm here, basically a blizzard. Let me go ahead and read this page of fire. Enthusiastic action, adventurousness, venturing forth, beginning a project, acting on new ideas. I am free to venture forth for co-creating a life true to my desire in my own right. I am finding my purpose as I take the first step into something new. My ideals have value. I dream boldly. You can play around with things. You can play around with your thoughts. You can play around with your dreams. They can change. You can change things up in that way that you think, uh, I always wanted to do this. I don't want to do it anymore. That might scare you as well. But you have the possibilities to dream and to think and to do whatever you want. Nobody can stop you from doing this. And you ought to not stop yourself. Um, that's what I'm getting from that. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there for tours. I hope you did enjoy the readings. If you did, then hit the thumbs up button. And I will see you back here again next month.